Good morning, first graders. Today we are going to finish our story, Mercy Watson Goes for a Ride, with permission from Candlewick Press. It is written by Kate DiCamillo, and it's illustrated by Chris Van Dunson. Chapter 9. Officer Tamillo had to go very fast to catch up with the convertible. The officer had to speed. Is that vehicle swerving? Officer Tamillo asked himself. It is, he answered himself. It is most definitely swerving. Is the driver of that vehicle breaking the law? Officer Tamillo asked. Without a doubt, he answered. The law is being broken. It is time to take action. Officer Tamillo pulled up alongside the car. He shouted into his bullhorn, Pull over! The driver turned. The driver looked at him. The driver oinked! Who's driving? Mercy Watson? Is that a pig behind the wheel? Officer Tamillo asked himself. Yes, he answered himself. Yes, that is a pig most definitely behind the wheel. Again, Officer Tamillo shouted into his bullhorn. Pull over! Pigs cannot drive cars. Pull over immediately! He is absolutely correct, said Mr. Watson. Pigs cannot drive cars, and I would like to pull over, but I can no longer feel my legs. Therefore, I cannot step on the brake pedal. Therefore, I cannot stop this car. Oh dear, said Baby. I think we are in trouble. They look like they're in trouble. Oh no. Chapter 10. Back on Deckerwoo Drive, Mrs. Watson invited Eugenia inside. There's no point in worrying alone, Mrs. Watson said. Come in and help me fix a snack for my darlings. Mrs. Watson brought Eugenia into the kitchen. Will you help me butter some toast? asked Mrs. Watson. Toast? grumbled Eugenia. Who cares about toast? Don't worry, said Mrs. Watson. She patted Eugenia on the back. If Baby is with Mr. Watson, then she is just fine. Mr. Watson is an excellent driver. He is a menace, said Eugenia. Pardon? said Mrs. Watson. Nothing, said Eugenia. She picked up a piece of toast. She applied the tiniest amount of butter. Oh, heavens, said Mrs. Watson. You have to put on more than that. Mercy likes a great deal of butter on her toast. Who cares how pigs like their toast, Eugenia said. There, there, said Mrs. Watson. I know that you are worried, but everything will work out. Baby will come home in the meantime. Why don't we just concentrate on our buttering? Toast is not the answer, grumbled Eugenia. But she buttered another piece anyway. Chapter 11. You must stop the car, shouted Officer Tamillo. But I cannot stop the car, said Mr. Watson. Wink, wink, said Mercy. She was having an excellent time. I have an idea, Mr. Watson, said Baby Lincoln. If you tell me where the brake pedal is, I will apply it. The brake pedal, said Mr. Watson. From underneath Mercy is the pedal to the left of the the gas pedal, the brake pedal, is the pedal that I do not have my foot on. Baby unbuckled her seatbelt. She climbed into the front seat. She put her seatbelt on. She slid as close to Mr. Watson as she could. She looked down. She saw Mr. Watson's foot. She saw the pedal next to it. I have located the brake pedal, Mr. Watson, Baby announced. Excellent, said Mr. Watson. Now apply it. Baby stretched across Mr. Watson. I am applying the brake pedal, Mr. Watson. Baby shouted, hold on, hold on, everyone. Chapter 12. The car screeched. 
The car shuddered. The car caromed. The car caromed. And finally, the car stopped. Mercy was very surprised. Suddenly, she was not driving the car. Suddenly, she was not even in the car. Suddenly, Mercy was airborne. Mr. Watson was wearing his seatbelt. He did not fly out of the car. Baby Lincoln was wearing her seatbelt. She did not fly out of the car. Officer Tamillo was safe in his police cruiser. He did not fly out of his car. Only Mercy flew. Oh no. Oh dear, said Baby. It's an emergency, shouted Mr. Watson. Alert the fire department. Was that pig wearing a seatbelt? Officer Tamil asked. No, he answered himself. That pig most certainly was not. Have laws been broken here? Asked Mr. Tamil. Most certainly, most definitely. Laws have been broken here. Mr. Watson and Baby Lincoln and Officer Tamil watched Mercy fly. They watched her land. Mr. Watson got out of the car. He ran to Mercy. He wrapped his arms around her and held her tight. My darling, my dear, he said, please tell me that you are all right. Oink, said Mercy. She snuffled Mr. Watson's neck. Hooray, said Baby. She is fine. Oh, thank you, said Mr. Watson. Thank you, thank you, thank you. He bent his head and covered the tips of Mercy's ears with kisses. She got very lucky. You are a miracle, a prodigy, a dear, Mr. Watson said. You are a porcine wonder, but even porcine wonders cannot drive. In fact, porcine wonders should never be allowed to drive ever. Mercy sighed. She was glad the ride was over. She felt a tiny bit dizzy and a little bit dazed. She wanted very much to go home. Chapter 13. Eugenia Lincoln and Mrs. Watson stood together on the Watson's front porch. They watched a police car pull into the driveway. Mr. Watson and Mercy and Baby Lincoln were all in the back seat. As I suspected, said Eugenia, trouble fully. And that pig is right in the middle of it. Oh, said Mrs. Watson, my darlings, my dears. She ran out to the police car. I'm so glad that you are home. The toast was starting to get cold. Mr. Watson and baby Lincoln got out of the car. We have had something of an adventure, Mrs. Watson, Mr. Watson said. Yes, said baby. We have had an adventure, sister. Fully, replied Gina Lincoln. Yes, agreed baby Lincoln happily. Holy. Laws have been broken, said Officer Tamil. Pig shouted, Eugenia. Pig shouted, Gina. Excuse me, said Officer Tamil. It's all that pig's fault, said Eugenia. She pointed at Mercy. Mercy climbed out of the car. She put her nose up in the air and she sniffed. Could it be? Yes, it was. Toast. Toast with a great deal of butter on it. What could be better? Chapter 14. Laws have been broken, said Officer Tamillo. Tickets must be written. Officer, do you like toast? Mrs. Watson asked. Toast, said Officer Tamillo. Do I like toast? Why, yes, I do. I do like toast. Why don't you come inside and have some? Asked Mrs. Watson. Why don't I come inside and have some toast? asked Officer Tamillo. Hmm, said Officer Tamillo. I can't think of a reason not. Lovely, said Mrs. Watson. She clapped her hands together. Right this way. What nonsense, grumbled Eugenia Lincoln. Toast is not the answer. No, sister, said Baby Lincoln. But it does smell heavenly. She took hold of Eugenia's hand. Well, said Eugenia, it has been expertly buttered. 
And so that Saturday, Officer Tamillo and Eugenia Lincoln and Baby Lincoln and Mr. and Mrs. Watson and Mercy Watson all sat around the table together and ate hot buttered toast. Did Mercy Watson have extra helpings? She did. And so did Officer Tamillo. The end.